Boridaro. Pronoun dar, every pony. This is Brony Dan. It's not original, but uh, you try coming up with reality these days. Remember last season when I praised Crusaders of the Lost Mark? I felt that it was the best conclusion to the Cutie Mark Crusaders story. It redeemed one of the most despised characters in the entire show. It had fantastic songs. It was an overall perfect episode. Well, now it's time to see the aftermath of that episode with this week's episode, On Your Marks. We start off the episode with the first post-Cutie Mark meeting. Okay, I'm just going to make an assumption that this episode must take place during Season 5 because there is no way they would wait an entire year to have a meeting to realize, holy shit, we've achieved our goals! Look, I know our Cutie Marks are amazing, but is that all we're going to do now? Just spend our day staring down at our own flanks? Oh, come on, Apple Bloom. Being able to stare at your own ass, I think that's an improvement in and of itself. Shit! Oh. Well, now that the Cutie Mark Crusaders now have their marks, the big question they have now is... Now what do we do? Yeah, we need to go try new stuff like we used to. Exactly. Like square dancing. Or mountain climbing. No, 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 for God's sake, no! Huh. <sighs> Fuck would you show that for? Why do you go for the obvious chalk? Well, the obvious conclusion is to go out to find ponies who have cutie mark problems. However, as this montage shows, it becomes apparent that that's not quite as easy as they make it out to be. Hell, even helping bulk biceps takes about five seconds. Yeah! 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 You guys are wrong! So after a plan of exploring Equestria for Cutie Mark problems is rejected, there's an hypocrisy in there somewhere. The CMC decide to pass the time by doing some activities that they enjoyed outside of searching for their Cutie Marks, as we get another montage of this showing how that doesn't work either. This first act has been nothing but montages so far. And then as you continue watching as Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo suggest doing things on their own, you'll see that it shifts from a CMC episode to an Apple Bloom episode. This has always been a nitpick of mine of the show, but Apple Bloom always seems to be the primary focus when it comes to Cutie Mark episodes. You could make the argument that she's the most insecure about the fact that she was a blank flank, that she was the one who suggested the Cutie Mark Crusaders in the first place, and that we've established that Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle do have interests outside of their group, but it always feels like Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo just get pushed to the side in these episodes. I think that feeling of insecurity does come through in the first song of the season, On My Own. No, not that on my own! This is about Apple Bloom singing about growing apart from her friend and how she herself is finding difficulty in accepting a new activity that she can pursue. The song itself is very well done, and Michelle Kreber, as usual, does a brilliant job. However, that does make the joke earlier with Sweetie Belle not make any sense and, frankly, rather confusing. So after failing to get interested in a dance class, Apple Bloom, you can't just do an activity for like a second and then decide it's not for you. That's the Carl Pilkington way of life. We get introduced to a new Carl called Tentataps, who has ambitions of performing on stage to get his cutie mark, but unfortunately has a case of stage fright. But Apple Bloom just walks away from a potential cutie mark problem. But you don't really care about that, do you? All you care about is how long it's going to take for us to see shipping fan art of these two. Then we get this moment. Oh, hello girls. Have fun pursuing your own interests? So now we have Apple Bloom falling into the pit of potential and psychological insanity. How many of these have we had in the show so far? I'm half expecting this to go down the route of Apple Bloom going full-blown starlight glimmer and stealing cutie marks just so she can help solve their problems. Okay, if that is not already a thing, could somebody make that a thing? 
Well, now that she realizes that she's just let a cutie mark problem slip right in front of her, Apple Bloom decides to go and help Tender Taps on getting to performing on stage and to finally achieve his own cutie mark, and the CMC accept that they can still crusade even without being together, while Tender Taps has ponies looked down at his flank. Equestria, where staring at a kid's ass does not make you a pedophile. Okay, for the first episode to handle this new change to the cutie mark crusaders, how does it hold up? Well, the first act is probably the most boring part, to be honest. The montages that were going on just felt like filler to me before we got to the second act. That was where I think the episode began to pick up steam, with its introduction to a new character, and with its moral of don't let your own problems shut you away from others, I found to be quite strong, and is one that I think adults could also relate to. Overall, I would say this was an okay episode. This is Brony Dan saying... Nostar.